Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I was doing some research going after clerk of the court and a judge for a case. Turns out the judge that handled the case that decided to violate every right of mine and subject me to double jeopardy, her husband, her husband was the chief of staff for Bill Clinton. I'm not joking. Bill, he was the chief of staff for Bill Clinton. She happens to be the judge presiding over the case and she did everything in her power to ignore everything. So I want to, you know, legally explain to her how much I appreciate her and take her out of the place she's in and put her back in her place. So as I was doing the research, because I'm naming the clerk of the court as well, I'll explain all of this later. This is October 2nd, 2024, public notice of the court's fiscal year 2024-2025 proposed budget. Ladies and gentlemen, if the court receives a budget, you can download the plan. All of your courts do it. All of your cities do it. They can't just create a budget saying we need this, we need that without notifying you because you're paying the taxes to take care of that budget. But if they're, everything is paid for in the court, then why are you paying filing fees? No, no, hold on a minute. This is the court's budget. This is not just any budget. This is the entire court, the administration of the entire court. This is their budget, their CAFR budget, Comprehensive Annual Financial Report budget. So if their budget is already paid for, because that's what Congress awards them as their budget for the fiscal year. Ladies and gentlemen, why are you paying filing fees? Oh, by the way, that judge that I told you about, all of the judges, I want you all to understand something. All of the judges who mess with me, they all become presiding judges of the court. Okay, the one in Puerto Rico, Ada Delgado, I'm a whole cologne, became the presiding judge of the court. Well, no, no. I'm sorry, I can't say she became the presiding judge. They assigned me to her because she was the presiding judge. I, I, gotta, I gotta make sure you guys understand that. Sorry, I always get the senior judges or the presiding judges. So she, that hoe, was the presiding judge. This one is now the presiding judge, okay? And then several other cases where the individuals became the presiding judge or I was dealing directly with the presiding judge. Now, the presiding judge is nobody. They're just the person who oversees the court. They're just the chief, the chief administrator. That's all they are. They're no big deal. All right, let's get back to the conversation at hand. I'm doing this to show all of you that every court has a budget. You shouldn't be paying filing fees. Everybody and their grandmama, just find the budget for the court, whether it's federal court or any other court, find their budget, subpoena it. Um, what do you call it? FOIA request it or a public records request. You don't just simply do a FOIA request, you do a public records request. I was listening to some people the other day doing a video and they were talking and there were a couple of comments made, some of them about me without mentioning my name. And that's okay. I have noticed that People will talk about the information that's out there and all these people with all their little processes and all of that stuff. You see, I don't have processes, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, they'll talk about all these people with their processes, call them out by name. But whenever they talk about the information you know they got from this channel, they never mention my name. No, 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 no. Hold on now. I know that there are many of you who do mention my name and praise the Lord. I know I, I thank you very much. But anyway, I'm talking about those who go out of their way not to mention my name because they despise me that much. I have two fingers on two opposing hands sitting right smack in the middle, sit and spin simultaneously if you want. Okay, because I don't care. I don't care if you don't like me. Okay, it's okay that you don't like me because I don't give up about you. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I mean, why would I? You were nobody to me yesterday. You're going to be nobody to me tomorrow. So why should I care whether or not you like me? I'm not here to be liked. Haven't you guys gotten that by now that I'm not trying to gain friends? I don't advertise this channel. I, I don't. Go ahead and look at when you see any advertisement. You don't see any. If you see commercials, it's because Google does the commercials. I don't get paid for any of that sponsorship. I don't do sponsorships. I get all kind of invitations. But the answer is no, I'm not doing this for money. I have not gotten paid for any of the 19,000.
300 videos that I've done so far on YouTube. That's right, you heard me. I told several people, hey, we can monetize it. Go ahead, I'll put you in charge. I'll even give you a percentage. They did nothing. Okay, no, 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 don't need your volunteers. Nope, don't want it, don't need it. I didn't ask for you. Lord have mercy. Don't email me about that either because I will block you. And yes, I do block people's emails. Okay? I do it on a regular basis. I tell you guys what not to do and many of you ignore it. Look underneath the videos. It tells you what the requirements are for communicating with me. Many of you are deciding you're going to do it however you want. And that's okay. I'm going to let you do whatever the f you want. But you're going to get blocked in the meantime, and you can do it all night long, Lionel Richie style. All night. All night. All night. Anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen, getting back to, I was working on something today. And I was working on it because I, I was getting to the point of the stupid officer who gave me a ticket for driving without a license without ever pulling me over without ever making a traffic stop. Do you know that that's illegal in California? <laughs> An officer can't just give you a ticket? You know, that's what the biggest deal was about the camera, where it takes pictures of your vehicle. They must send you that in the mail, but you have the right to challenge the camera because the person viewing the camera is not the one issuing the ticket. The camera is the witness. So you call the camera to the stand as a witness because you have a right to call anyone was used as a witness that's why you get to challenge the radar gun you guys need to understand you can only be convicted by a witness you can't be convicted by paperwork substantial evidence uh circumstantial and all of that junk you can't be convicted by that you need to understand the law yeah i know the courts have made this decision and made that decision and that's why you go after their bond they i promise you they'll start making the right decisions look I don't know the website, but I think it's We Are Bonds. Let's let's see if we can find that. Hold on one second. W E A R E B O N D S. We are bonds. We are bonds dot com. Uh I don't know if it's them. I don't think it's them because this says entertainment marketing agency. That ain't it. Hold on. Dang it. Give me a second. Let me find the website. Give me a second. I'll be right back, y'all. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. The name of the website is Bonds for the Win. Then they go ahead and go through the whole list of surety bonds and all of this stuff, violations. They even provide you guys templates. No, we're getting ready to start a program doing something similar, but not this exact same thing. Again, with the experience that I have and the audio I was listening to, the person said, you know, if you can um, find somebody who's got 10 years experience or more, then those are the people you should be listening to and paying attention to. Ladies and gentlemen, I kind of agree with that. However, I've listened to people who say they have 10, 15 years experience, and I've listened to some of the things they say, and some of the things they say are inaccurate because everybody can't know everything. Okay, so I say be careful. Many of you guys are hearing people talk about remedy, 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 remedy. <sighs> and you're taking their word for it. Stop doing that. That's going to hurt you. Now, I need to make sure you guys understand what's going on here. I am patient. I don't put myself ahead of anyone else because I don't have time. And... They did this to me in 2018. That's when they started. It's 2024. Again, I'm patient. I'm just as patient as they are. I'm not in a rush. My, my job is to make sure they feel me. Okay? Because I'm about to hit. And I want to make sure that there's an impact. How do you get an impact? Ladies and gentlemen, again... I appreciate this site because they went out of their way to provide information for people. However, I want you to understand, 
I am going for the jugular. I am, I am literally going for the jugular, 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 jugular. Got to minimize all of these things. And thank you. I was waiting for that. I, man, I hadn't been working on that for hours. I'm going for the jugular. The same as, for instance, a wolf or a pit bull would go for the jugular. Why? Why do they go for the jugular? Well, two reasons. Arteries are there, and that's where you breathe. That's where your breathing is intercepted. Either through your mouth or through your nose. It has to go through your jugular, your throat. So you snatch that up, block that. You take the life out of a person. That's what I'm doing. Legally. So, how do you do this? Well, first you have to send notice. Notice is essential. Supreme Court made that quite clear that notice is the most fundamental due process right. That's why I'm going after the officer who issued a ticket without ever serving a copy of the citation on my person. Claiming that he issued a ticket for driving without a license without making a traffic stop to confirm there was no license. Just that simple. Which is impossible because his presumption that a person is driving without a license is, well, we can say it's a racially motivated presumption. Why? Because that means every other car on the highway was susceptible to his presumption. Hey, I got to answer this. Give me one second. No, nah, we're going to let y'all go, and we're going to speak to y'all later. Have a good day, y'all.